very good morning the chairpersons and the august gathering uh, the title of uh, my presentation is ocular periocular tumors and uh, tumor like lesions at a tertiary healthcare center in western odisha in india this shows a map uh, this is a map of odisha showing the western uh, 10 districts of uh, odisha so we have got no financial interest or no conflicts of interest to introduce uh, though cancer is the leading cause of death and is increasing exponentially the incidence of eye cancers is as low as 0.5% uh, the methods were it is a retrospective observational hospital based study acquired from medical records uh, which was conducted from january 2017 to june 2022 which is a five and a half years duration the data was retrieved from of the 72 patients diagnosed with uh, ocular and periocular tumors and tumor like lesions from the medical records and the inclusion criteria was all the clinical pathologically diagnosed cases the results <coughs> out of a total number of 72 patients the mean age was 38 years the male to female ratio 1 to 1.66 with 45 male and 27 female and this table shows in the age group of uh, 0 to 10 there were four patients the most common anatomical location was the eyelid the most common surgical procedure done was direct excision and the most common histopathological diagnosis was dermoid cyst in the age group of 11 to 20 ocular adnexa was the commonest anatomical location surgical procedure uh, done was direct excision and it was again dermoid cyst 21 to 30 it was adnexa direct excision was done and oculosporidiosis was the commonest histopathological diagnosis 31 to 40 years age group it was the eyelid uh, where tensels was commonly done and uh, papilloma was the commonest histopathological diagnosis 41 to 50 years eyelid was the common anatomical location mustards was the surgical procedure mainly done and uh, the common was uh, mebomian cell carcinoma 51 to 60 years eyelid was the commonest anatomical location mustards was the commonest procedure and basal cell carcinoma was the commonest histopathological diagnosis in more than 60 years age group bulbar conjunctiva was the commonest anatomical location direct excision was done and ossn was the commonest histopathological diagnosis in the histopathological types benign tumors constituted 33% that is 45.83% and uh, dermoid cyst was the commonest growth in the age group of 11 to 20 years in the malignant tumors 20 cases commonest was ossn 11 cases in the age group of more than 60 tumor like lesions were 19 oculosporidiosis is very common in our area hemangioma showed a common recurrence so this graph shows the various types of surgery done which included direct excision tensels mustards cutler beard anterior orbitotomy lateral orbitotomy and exenteration these are certain uh, pictures of certain benign cases showing a dermoid a papilloma and a conjunctival retention cyst this is a schematic showing uh, the semicircular mustard's flap and these are certain cases this is a case of basal cell carcinoma uh, which shows uh, a mustard's that is done pre and post op picture with the histopathological diagnosis this is a case of mebomian carcinoma which shows uh, a pre op picture and uh, during excision and a post op picture there is a tensels flap the schematic diagram usually involved uh, which is done for the upper lid tumors <coughs> and these are certain cases where the tensels uh, was done so cutler beard <coughs> where the large masses of the upper lid are undertaken for surgery by this method so this is a procedure just after cutlers Uh, cutler beards and then we would call the patient after 2 months to for the formation of the lid this is a case of invasive squamous cell carcinoma again you we can see cutler but here uh, we can see that the <coughs> lid margin has uh, been uh, cut post trauma after the surgery this is another case where cutler beard was done in case of malignant melanoma now here uh, <coughs> this is a case which showed recurrence Uh, post cutler beard surgery this a, it was a case of mebomian cell carcinoma then these are certain cases different types of ossn shown papillomatous gelatinous and leukoplakic 
the lateral orbitotomy approach provides a direct and minimally invasive cor uh, corridor to orbital apex cavernous sinus and middle cranial fossa lesions. These are two cases. One is lateral orbitotomy and the other is anterior. And these are certain tumor-like lesions. These are very common ophylosporidiosis cases in our area. This is a case of exenteration, which was done in post-COVID mucormycosis. And the study has uh, limitations because uh, studies similar to Honawar et al. and Kalki et al. with large cohort of patients, hospital-based study with facilities for accurate diagnosis by a trained ocular oncologist and patient representation from a diverse geographical area of India are the need of for a thorough research. We had less number of cases and a small area. So my conclusion is, uh, I have already said, we had benign, malignant, and tumor-like lesions, and our area included more number of oculosporidiosis cases. So my take-home message is, we should have a better frozen section facility with improved training for ocular oncology and improved documentation and presence of a referral-based uh, <coughs> comprehensive ophthalmic oncology setup, which can enhance the study protocol. Thank you so much. Good compilation of cases. Uh, I think you have any question. Okay. Due to paucity of time, we'll go to the next okay. presentation. Thank you.